uh, huh? When I woke up, I was someplace that didn't make sense. That was clearly a place I've never seen before. I was, it clearly was a place I've never seen before. My sense of reality was still hazy, so I wasn't able to react right away. <clears throat> Where is this? However, when I looked over at Nekamaru standing tall in a wide stance, my sense of reality felt even heavier. Heavier, hazier. Ah, uh, man. I felt... I felt good? What the fuck? Oh, my! Huh. Where are we? What? what the hell is this? Voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me, one after another. It seems that the others have started to wake up as well. Mm. Uh, why was I sleeping in a place like this? Good night. Oh, well. I should go back to sleep for a little longer. No, don't! You seriously can't do that. What did you do to me? I assume that this was the gas is doing. That gas, we were forced to breathe right after the train started moving. It must have knocked us all out. And then we were brought here, huh? I see. In that case, this must be the interior of the fun house. Welcome! Welcome! Welcome to Strawberry House! Strawberry House? Isn't this the fun house? Of course it's the fun house. Strawberry House is part of the fun house. A part, you say? Now then, a lot. Fuck you, Monokuma. I'm trying to read the lines and you got all this voice line dialogue going and shit. Fuck you, man. This is the Strawberry House entirely. You can current, uh, you are currently at the indoor park located on the third floor. As you see, there's a lot of playground equipment with strawberry designs. How fancy. Now then, the second floor. There's a lounge, perfect for... <sighs> perfect for yawning, because I'm tired as fuck. Anyways, <laughs> there's a lounge, perfect for freshening up, and I prepared five guest rooms that are lined up like BOOM! Are you telling me we're spending the night in a fucking funhouse, Monokuma? The guest rooms are divided up by quality grade. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. The standard room may have so-so insulation, but it's still pretty decent. And the crummy room has severe airflow and draft problems. That's, when that concludes my explanation of the second floor, last but not least, the first floor of Strawberry House. On this floor, there's a room called the Final Dead Room. That's all like BOOM! You can enter the final dead room at any time, but it'll be extra costs when you pick the difficulty setting. On the same floor, there's a hallway called Strawberry Hall, and when you pass through it, there's a truly strange enormous tower standing tall with a boom boom! It's called Strawberry Tower. Please, use your own two feet to get a feel for what the inside of Strawberry Tower is like. That concludes the tour, but I think it was difficult to understand with my wandry explanation. So you should all use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. That's all from me anyways. Wait, what? Wait, what? I'm question- what? That's all from me. Any questions? Hey, hey, hey. Hell yeah, we have questions, obviously. What's this? Really? Uh, what's your question? What do you- To bring us to a place like this, what are you planning to make us do? That's right! That's right, I have a lot of questions, but let's start with the first one. Mm -hmm. Uh, didn't I explain it to you? <laughs> this is the motive this time. You fucking asshole. Yeah! An escape game. Dickhead. Escape game. In other words. The concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle. Like Hoax Week Academy back then, the fun house is completely a closed space. Um There's only one way to get out this out this closed space building. When the killing begins, I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens. Uh, let's escape game let the escape game begin. Huh? What? What? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so happy that was voiced. I'm so happy that's a voice line. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn it! Uh, we can't get out of here until the next killing happens. This is troubling. I knew this was a trap, but I never expected it to be so straightforward. Foolish of me. If only I, if only I erected a magic barrier, I would have been. Uh, I would have been able to breathe the gas. I let my guard down and ended up falling asleep. Like, why would gas even work on a robot? That's supposed to be when you make your move. Gas shouldn't pose a problem, but if they activate my sleep mode and everything, I, what the fuck? If they activate my sleep mode, even I won't stand a chance. Huh? Sleep mode. That's right, it's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I had insomnia. 
Just press the good night button on the back of my neck and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. What's the point of that function? Didn't I just tell you it puts my other functions to sleep even if I have insomnia? Don't you even need sleep? In order to wake up awaken from sleep mode, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. It's all possible with just one touch. Damn. He's not even listening. He probably wants to live like humans as much as he can. Such a sad nature of robotic organism. Man. At any rate, Monokuma sure stuffed him with a lot of useless functions. Anyways, Mekamaru must have lost consciousness because his button was pressed. What a blunder. He might have taken advantage of the white smoke and went around me. I never let it happen again. Hey, hey. For now, why don't you look for the exit? What? Exit? Never mind. Is there even an exit? I mean, if there was, it wouldn't be a cross. It wouldn't be a closed space, right? It makes Monokuma's motive meaningless. Dumbass. What are you giving? Oh, damn it! I can't speak. <laughs> what are you giving up for, dumbass? If we were all brought inside this place, then there's definitely an exit somewhere. Amazing. Amazing. A heart that refuses to give up until the very end. That must be hope. <laughs> yes, I understand. Then let's explore the inside of this building with the map we got. Well. But exploring, exploring on your own is too dangerous. It might be better if we team up with someone. Then right. Akane, you come with me. Huh? Oh, that's an unusual combo. <laughs> Could this guy be? Huh? It's nothing like that, idiot. There's just something I want to talk to her about. Uh. I don't mind. Whatever's fine. Wow. Well. Wow. When you two stand right next to each other, there's a noticeable height difference. <laughs> Drop it, bastard. You. Hey, if we're gonna go, let's hurry up and go. Alright, then we'll go on first. With those parting words, the two of them left the area. Well, Miss Sonya, I guess it's time we go also. Sonya already left with Gundam. <laughs> Aw, you got dumped. Of course not! Idiot! I didn't get dumped. Why would I get dumped? In fact, I'm really popular. That's obviously not true. Now then. Now then, I think it's time for me to get going too, so. Cheeky, would you like to go together? Huh? Me? Wait, hold up. Are you all taking the females? Am I running out of females here? Come on, guys. You can't do this to me. Cheeky, you don't want to go with him. He's he's evil. Go with me. Yep. I haven't really had a chance to talk to you, so I thought it would be a great opportunity. For now. Then take me with you, too. Three people is okay, right? Huh? Huh? That's fine, but... <laughs> oh, I get it. Kazuichi's trying to avoid Hajime. Huh? Hey, hey, hey! What are you talking about? Avoid Hajime? It's nothing like that. What do you mean? Well... Call it a hunch, but maybe Kazuichi can't stop thinking about it, you know? The possibility that you're the traitor. What? <laughs> uh, I was just... I just said what Kazuichi was feeling. I mean... Well, you know... The truth is we don't know anything about you, so it's not my fault if I don't trust you. What does that mean? We've been together the whole time and you still don't know who I am? That's obviously wrong. Like that matters, it's not like I know the real you. Just like how we didn't know anything about Mekon. The real me? Huh? And the only reason we're here is because you were the one who suggested we go to the funhouse, right? Why is like... Come on, Kazuichi. I thought we were like best bros, dude. Come on, man. Mekon turns out to be crazy. Kazuichi doesn't like me. What kind of shit is this? Anyways. Are you saying I lured you guys here? Why would I do that? It's not like I far. It's not that far fetched, you know. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry, Hajime. I really don't want to trust you. Hmm. But I just can't yet. That's why I'm going with Chiaki. It's not like I want to go with Nagito either. But you're saying Nagito's more trustworthy than me. What the hell? Damn it! What has happened? In that case, it is what it is. Why don't you come along with us, Kazuichi? Hmm. Ah, but. It's fine, Cheeky. Just go. Yep. Got it. See you later. Wow. You didn't give that a second thought. That's the part where you're like, Nah, man, I want to hang out with you. you fuck yourself, Cheeky. Ah, with that, Kazuichi, Cheeky, and Nagito all left together to explore the area. Guess that leaves me and fucking Iron Man. Huh? I guess we're leftovers. Ah, looks like we're not very well liked. Uh, it's not like complaining about it will change anything. We're just a traitor and a robot, after all. I'm not a fucking traitor. Oh. Oh, that's right. My apologies. Well then, Hajime. Let's show everyone else the value of our leftovers. Wait, value in leftovers. 
Let's ma let's ma what the fuck? Let's magnificently find the exit with our own with our very own hands, and if we do that, we'll solve everything. Hmm. When people stop trusting you, it seriously sucks. Ah, uh, even Nekamaru doesn't trust me. No matter where I look, every area is decorated with strawberry patterns. I don't hate strawberries, but if these patterns continue, I might start getting sick of them. Uh, according to Monokuma's map, the only thing on the third floor is the park where we're currently at. Then it's like... Oh, wait. <clears throat> then it looks like I don't have any business on this floor. Just so you know, Hajime, let me know whenever you're feeling thirsty. Is he talking about a soda fountain? I don't really want to drink anything that comes out of his eyes. You're bugging the fuck out. I, I'll get some soda if I want. According to the map, there should be guest rooms on the lounge on the second floor. Alright, I shall go explore the guest rooms. The lounge is all you. Yeah, got it. Everything looks so samey. Ugh. Damn it, this is gonna hurt my eyes at some point. Ugh. So, is this the lounge? Am I, like, standing in the lounge right now? Giant candy... Wait a minute. That wasn't candy before, was that? That wasn't a candy thing before. Let me do another, like, whole 360. Ah, huh, I guess it was. Huh. Anyways, so there's guest rooms here. The lounge is over here. Oh, hey, look. It's, it's these guys. Hmm, this looks like the lounge. This is also completely covered in strawberries. It's gonna be difficult to relax here. I guess for now I should go to the things uh, I should go look for things I might be able to use. Like this phone. Ah, oh, there's a telephone. The fact that someone uh, that there's a phone in this building is clearly suspicious. Well, I'll be able to call someone with this. When I walked towards the telephone I immediately noticed it. What is this? Instead of number buttons, there's just a single button with a grape image on it. But why grapes? Why not strawberries? Well, for now, I'll give it a pros. It sounds like connecting somewhere. But no one's picking up. Let me tell you. What a mysterious device may be used for summoning rituals. A novice shouldn't curiously touch it. It's probably not that dangerous. Aside from the button, it looks like any other regular telephone. But it doesn't work like a normal telephone, and I don't even know where it's connecting to. Two Jeez, what's going on? My four dark days of destructions are investigating the area, but it seems there's nothing of note to report. Listen. Why have you given up? There's may uh, There may be still something on this floor we've not searched yet. Yeah, you're right. It's still too soon to give up. To Good. Huh. Alright. I should try exploring the first floor. I should try exploring the first floor I haven't seen yet. What are you talking about? Okay, I guess he wants me to go into the rooms. Crummy room. Let's go in there. Man, this room looks like shit. There's a broken monitor. Why is there a broken monitor? Is the monitor used for communicating with us? In the future foundation, it's behind this. The fact that Monokuma uses this screen means he's their ally. Monomi, Monokuma, and the future foundation. They're all our enemies. Okay. Is that the only thing I'm noting here? Alright, what about... Oh, there's another crummy room. There's the deluxe rooms. And standard room. There's only one standard room? Why is that? Hmm. Only one standard room. I hear voices and sounds. Sound like someone's in there. Is it Kazuichi? He's gonna tell me I'm here to murder them? Oh, hey guys. What's hey. up? Hey. What do you want to talk about? Well, you know. I'm sure you don't want to hear this since I caused a similar incident. And I already know that the guy like me has no right to say this to you, but... But when I look at you, I just have to say something. What? Then spit it out. Hey! You don't need to act so stubborn, you know? Because I know what you're gonna... what you're going through. Huh? Huh? So... 
The only reason you're standing here right now is because someone sacrificed himself for you. You feel guilty about that, isn't that right? Like... Hey, what are you talking about? I know. So you don't want to be honest about it, huh? Well, I guess I understand that feeling too. You? Seriously, what the hell are you talking about? So... But it's like he said, it's better to just be alive. It might hurt to look at his painful appearance right now, but... But you're much better off because at least he's still alive. I mean, for me... Sorry. Sorry. Huh? Are you crying? I... Right now, I feel very grateful to her. But I can't tell her that anymore. So... But you're different, so... Huh. Make sure you tell him how grateful you are. Huh? Wait. So what are you trying to say again? I quietly left the guest room so they wouldn't notice me. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Hajime is just like, oh shit, back the fuck up. Fuhiko took the time to talk to her, but it looks like Akane didn't really understand the conversation. Cause she's so fucking stupid. Anyways, let's check these deluxe rooms. Why is there a skull with like lollipops in it? Okay. It's a camera. There's the bed and the monitor. Surveillance camera has like a strawberry on it. Mommy, community with us. Da -da -da. Okay, same thing he says. Alright. Well, nothing in this room. I guess I'll go check out the other two rooms. Like this one. What'd you find, Nekamaru? Jeez. However, I never expected we'd lose three people during my absence. Yeah. Mm. Hayako and Ibuki. Those two were quite the noisy bunch. As if... Uh, it's as if a fire was smothered. And I cannot believe Mikan was the one who murdered them. That's why... No matter what shape you're in, we're all extremely happy that you came back to us. Huh? Then I must live up to everyone's expectations. As long as I'm here, I'll not tolerate any more victims. I won't allow it. Nekamar, the last person that said that last person that said that shit was the first victim. <laughs> so I guess that confirms that Nekamaru's gonna die next. You're gonna die, man. Especially when you tell everybody your weakness like your sleeping button. Fucking idiot. Check out this crummy room. How crummy it is. It's crappy. Oh, it's not in here. Alright, well. That was fun. Hajime said he wanted to go to the first floor, right? And we're on the second floor. So to the first floor we go. There wasn't anything terribly important on the third floor or second floor. But that doesn't mean there's nothing here I should look around. Thoroughly. Alright. Hey, look, it's Kazuichi. Guess who I'm not gonna... What the fuck is this? Oh, the dead room. Guess I'll check out the fucking dead room. This door looks like it gives off a different vibe compared to everything else. The final dead room. Allow me to explain. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this wait what? Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the octagon, that fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon is. What? Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final death room. Life-threatening game? What the hell is that? Did he just say I can obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? How stupid. Who the hell is going to do that? I'm going to do that. I want to do that. Yeah, who's going to do that? The next murderer. Murder, murder. Oh, hey, look. It's fucking Komaeda. The guy who... Stirring up shit all the fucking time. Now nobody trusts me. <laughs> Everyone's a symbol of hope. They're all completely different compared to quitters like me. I'm terribly sorry that someone like me is forced to be with everyone like this. Eh, whatever. Go fuck yourself. Anyways, this leads to the tower, right? Oh? I see. So this is Strawberry Hall. It seems this place is also filled with strawberries. What a creepy looking hallway. As I recall, Strawberry Tower is on the other side of the... Oh, fuck. It's on the other side of this door, right? 
According to the map, that's correct. However, this order is all wrong. It's obvious. It's obviously makes more sense to finish investigating the first floor before going on to the other areas. I get it. You don't need to raise your voice so suddenly. It's my bad, man. Uh, is that sarcasm towards me for giving no for having no heart? There's no way. Uh, fuck, I can't read. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna let that bring me down. You're the best around. No one's ever gonna bring me down. <laughs> you seriously don't feel down, huh? Nope. Nakumaru, are you down, 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 down? Okay, so those are bathrooms. What the fuck is this? Elevator? I guess that leads to the third floor. Grape! Has a great symbol. Alright, guess I'll check out the elevator. Isn't this an elevator? Well, that's weird. The only stairs are being between this. Oh, fuck. That weird. The only stairs are between this building, second and third floor. Does that mean there's a basement? There's a button next to it. A grape image, the same button on the telephone. Uh, what will happen if I press it? And so, without really thinking about it, I try pressing the button, but it's not reacting at all. Is it out of order? I don't really get it, but it looks like this elevator is un unusable. I mean, isn't usable. Whatever. What is it, Hajime? Did you find something? The final dev room place sounds suspicious, but going inside might be a little dangerous. Monokuma didn't mention a life-threatening game. It's not even worth playing... I'm yawning all over the place. It's not even worth playing if all you get after winning is a weapon. Now then, the other should be a Strawberry Tower in the far back of Strawberry Hall. Let's get uh, let's get going already. I assume if you press the great button here and the great button on the telephone at the same time, maybe something... Oh, shit. <laughs> Were you here the whole time? No, you weren't. What happened? Did you get tired again? No, I was just thinking why strawberries. Hmm, why is that? Personally, I think tangerines are totally fine too. Or even fruits like peaches and apples. Yeah, any of those fruits would have been fine. Then why strawberry? Who knows? Such a mystery. Yeah. What was this conversation just now? Are we gonna argue, Kazuichi? Are we gonna are we gonna argue here? Why? Is there anything you want to say to me? No, nothing. The possibility isn't zero. I don't think it's extremely close to zero, but... It's never going to be zero, no matter what. Uh. I'm sorry, Hajime. Man, Kazuichi, I thought we were best buds, but you don't like me, apparently. According to the map, Strawberry Tower was on the other side. Ah, uh, there's no doorknob. There's no way we can open the door like this. Isn't there an open button right there? Like, right behind you, Nekamaru? Maybe you should just press the button that's next to the door. You know, the one that says, Open? I wonder what that means. It's funny. It's spelled just like the word open. I... Wait, seriously? Anyways, I just have to press the button then. Nekamaru raised his right arm and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. There's a fucking grape. So this is Strawberry Tower, huh? The building is shaped like a huge circle, plus the ceiling is so high it can really make... <sighs> it's almost like this tower is going to be in the next area for the class trial. Hmm, and that's the exit. Jeez. Jeez, more than these bright red decorations, what terrible taste. Well, with the name like Strawberry Tower, I guess it's terribly decorated. Uh, I guess the terrible decorations are intentional. That's right, there's a strawberry tower, right? Then why... Why do I need something that doesn't match the strawberry theme all the time? Why the fuck... Why... Why is there fucking grapes everywhere? There's a huge door in the far back of the tower, but there's a grape on it. I thought this was strawberry tower. Wait, this image. Does it match the one on the lounge phone and also the one near the first floor elevator? Perhaps the door might be the exit. Huh? Exit? Take a look. The map we received from Monokuma. I see. There's a door at the far back of Strawberry Tower, but nothing's drawn on the other side. Now, does that mean that the exit is on the other side of this door? Therefore, we must try to confirm it by opening this door. Nekamaru let out a battle cry, grabbed the doorknob tightly with both hands, and attempted to pry open the door. However, 
Clatter, clatter, clatter. Uh, what does this mean? The doorknob won't budge. Not even one bit. Uh, is it locked? Well, shit. <laughs> well, shit. Damn it. It appears it's been locked tight. Show some spirit. In that case, I shall use my full power. With the fierce word, Nekamaru put all its power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. But... Uh, not yet. Here it comes, the incredible strength of one million horsepower. Wait, isn't this crack? Uh, wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. Uh, that would be bad. So, shouldn't we discuss this with everyone else first before you attempt to force your way through? Uh, you have a point. Very well then, even though the door wouldn't have opened soon. <laughs> would have opened soon, I guess I'll give it a rest. Then <laughs> let's go back to Strawberry House and discuss this with everyone. If they'll... <clears throat> Jesus. If they'll listen to what I have to say, that is. If they all look at me like, look at that fucking traitor. Look at that guy who trades. He be trading. Hmm? Is it just me or does it seem rowdy by the elevator over there? Did something happen? Did a dead body appear already? Ugh, fucking Monokuma, you piece of shit. You piece of shit. Hiya! Wow, how are you guys doing? Were you able to get to a general idea of Strawberry House side? Strawberry House side? That's a strange thing to say. It sounds like there are other buildings. Of course. Of course. That's why this thing is called the Contact Elevator. Let me ask. Contact Elevator, you say? Hey! Hey! Even though it's an elevator, it's it's a big mistake to the ah, fuck. It's a big mistake that things move vertically. This is an elevator that travels along a rail, so even moving horizontally is easy as pie. Then, does this elevator go to a different building? Yeah. That's right, the Grape House! Huh? Grape House? Hey, um... The Fun House is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. Yeah, well, we can worry about the details when we get to the Grape House. I'll be going ahead. Huh? I don't really get it, but he just wanted to tell us to go to Grape House this time, right? Um... And then, we might. I just got a fucking text. Motherfucker. Why are you texting me? Why 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 you why are you texting me? I'm gonna make this a bit. I should make this a bit. <laughs> Is this a bit? It is a bit. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that fucking cut. Uh, I had to... I had to make contacts with people on the outside. Anyways, uh... And that... Uh, what the fuck? What was I reading? And that we must ride the elevator, right? Are we screwed? What should we do? Uh, we just have to go for it. The only way we can overcome this situation is to make a move. But still, you know... Wait, you're scared? Oh, hell no. Why are you saying this from Miss Sonia? Fine, I'll fucking go. I'm just not scared at all. Well, I don't have to... It, fuck. Well, I don't have it as bad as Kazuichi, but I do have a bad feeling about this. But we just can't stand here and do nothing. Alright, let's go. When I press the gray button next door, uh, next to the door, it immediately opened. We stepped into the elevator and off we went to Grape House. Is this already moving? If so, that'd be awesome. Hey. Okay, I thought it was I thought it was gonna be voice because Nakamaru started speaking. Anyways, I mean it's not vibrating at all, right? This is probably a really high performance elevator. It's not vibrating all that much. Maybe it's not actually moving. Alright, let's open the door and make sure. You cannot, it's too dangerous. After staying inside the vi vibration free elevator at Eventually, the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we arrived at our destination.